in breaking news the chicago bears finally oh my goodness this has been like the longest time coming they finally trade their quarterback justin fields and they traded him to the pittsburgh steelers so now he while he makes more money than russell wilson uh he will be sitting behind russell wilson he'll be with mike tomlin he'll be in a completely new environment completely new situation but justin fields is a pittsburgh steeler before we get into this whole thing and what it's been and what it is and what it's going to be, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss any updates like this or really just anything going on with the NFL in general. And turn your notifications on. And leave a like on the video. Let's, let's run them likes up, baby. Uh, but anyway, getting into it. The compensation. Uh, the Bears are trading Justin Fields for a 2025, not, not even 24, not a pick this year. They trading him for a 2025 Six round pick that goes to a fourth round pick based on playtime. So this is a conditional six round pick in 2025. You can't tell me they weren't trying to get rid of him. They they wanted Justin Fields going quick, fast, and in a hurry, but nobody was biting. Going into this offseason, there was talks about, oh, are the Bears going to keep Justin Fields? Are the Bears going to let Justin Fields go? They had the number one pick. We all knew they weren't keeping Justin Fields. We all knew that. I know there were Bears fans that were holding on, and I get it. I get it. Your team drafts a quarterback high. You want that quarterback to work out when your team drafts him high. So I, I get it. But the Bears said, uh, nah, we, we don't want him anymore. And it's a cold business. It's a cold business, but it's a results-driven business. And if you don't produce, then that's that. that that's a wrap. Not to say Justin Fields didn't produce, but winning, really. That's what mattered the most. And I guess they felt like, you know what? We're looking at you, Justin Fields. We're looking at these quarterbacks coming out the draft. Will it be Caleb Williams? Probably. But we're looking at them, and, yeah, we're, we're going to move in another direction. And this is um interesting because Justin Fields, rookie quarterback, he gets traded to – well, he was on his rookie deal, excuse me. He'd been playing for, what, two years? He gets traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they just got rid of their quarterback like two years into his rookie contract, that being uh Kenny Pickett. And – like and Justin Fields was um it over the past couple of days you saw the Bears they just added um they added uh Keenan Allen they added him from the Chargers so it's looking like oh okay now, all right nice little weapon over there but they were like Justin it ain't for you yeah, that ain't for you uh, but with with Kenny Pickett um he just left the Pittsburgh Steelers and it's it's a crazy situation because. When they signed Russell Wilson, that's when it was officially over for Kenny Pickett, whether he stayed with the Pittsburgh Steelers or not. But, and you know what, now, nah, with Kenny Pickett, it was like a lose-lose for him because they signed Russell Wilson, so that was the end of that for him. That, that officially confirmed, like, oh, Kenny Pickett, you are not the guy for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you never will be. And it's harsh to say it like that, but that's how the Steelers, that's how they addressed it. They signed a veteran quarterback. So then, if he would have sat behind Russell Wilson, he still wouldn't have been the guy. Uh, but then he gets traded. He gets he still stays in Pennsylvania. Good for him. But he gets traded to the Eagles. So now he's sitting behind the quarterback who just recently got paid, who ain't going nowhere. And now you're the backup to him. So I mean, is this gonna be his situation moving forward? Just being a backup? We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But it, it, it's like it, this reminds me, you know those those Madden YouTubers. Those Madden YouTubers that make videos based off of the game Madden. And when they do what's called a rebuild. So they'll take a franchise, they'll pick a franchise that has a good amount of cap space, uh, that hasn't really been successful, that's not really loaded with players, anything like that, and they'll just start working on them. That's what this seems like to me. Because you got a veteran quarterback, again, Russell Wilson signed for like one point something mil, super cheap. And now they added Justin Fields, uh, a young quarterback, and he's, I mean, he's dealing on his rookie deal, so he's getting like three mil this year. And those are your quarterbacks. So now it's like, all right, I'll try Russell Wilson. I'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, uh, we got Justin Fields, and we could try that in the future too. So it's, it's very interesting how Pittsburgh is doing this thing. Um, I am glad, again, that this is officially official, man. Official, I, I think everybody's glad that it's officially uh, official because – now we don't got to keep hearing about where is he going to end up. 
Now, with the Chicago Bears, Adam Schefter said this pretty much locks them in to drafting a quarterback. I mean, yeah, um, of course. Of course, because Bears, hey, Bears, they been over there loading some stuff up now, too, now, man. So, the Bears, like, they, they trying to get their quarterback ready. So, with the Chicago, this just icing on the cake. But, again, with them trading a, a – with them getting a, a conditional six-round pick, conditional six-round pick, not even this year, but in 2025. So they're like, look, just just give us something, please. I, I, we don't even care what it is. Just, just give us something so we can move on and this can be done. So just as much as us as fans were done with this whole thing, ready for it to be done, the Bears, they were even more ready than us fans for this whole thing to be done. But imagine what Justin Fields is going through. Poor guy. You, you think about it from his point of view, because this is the player that there's has been all this talk about. And then there was all the, oh, Justin Fields, why you unfollow the, 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 the Bears on Instagram? He's like, oh, yeah, just because you, you don't follow a girl on Instagram don't mean you're not talking to her. And, yeah, we, we, we saw how that ended up. <laughs> so. Oh, man, poor guy, man, poor guy. Uh, but hopefully for his career's sake, this can be the resurgence. Uh, because he could possibly, depending on how this thing shakes out, he ha he'll have to play the long game for sure. He'll have to play the long game. Russell Wilson is obviously not the Steelers' long-term option at the quarterback position. He could retire any second now. Any second. Well, he obviously ain't going to retire this year, but he could retire whenever. Uh, he's getting, what, he's getting like 38 mil, I think, this year from the Broncos, something, something crazy like that. But So he ain't worried about money, but he's on a one-year deal. And it's like, all right, show me what you got, Russell Wilson. All right, cool. If it works out, cool. What the most that he may stay, maybe three, maybe two, three years. I don't even think it'll be that long. That's, that's just my opinion, though. But if it doesn't work out then, and Justin Fields is still there, then he could be like, all right, hey, let, let me show you what I could do. I, ain't, I, I, I was a first-round draft pick for a reason. Like, I, I could do some stuff in this league. Like, just, just watch me. So this is an opportunity for him while he sits behind Russell Wilson just to develop, to really try to develop as much as he can. And it, it would be limited development, I think, because you can only develop so much in practice. That's where it starts, but you want to be out there on the football field. You want to be out there in games and whatnot. So, um, and, oh, by the way, the, the, that conditional six-round pick, it can go to a fourth-round pick based off of playing time. So we'll see how that goes as well. I mean – but either way, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, it ain't like it would be a big loss anyway of a draft pick. It's either a sixth-round pick or a fourth-round pick. Okay, cool. That, that ain't nothing. So, um, but, yeah, with Justin Fields, if he plays a long game and he, and he plays it the right way, he could possibly have an opportunity to take over for the Pittsburgh Steelers because he's still super young. Russell Wilson is not young at all. So he got to think about it that way. And I think that he will. Um, much, much different situation. But again, back to the Madden rebuild. Uh, it's like the, 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 somebody took over the Pittsburgh Steelers and they're like, you know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna start over. Let's blow this thing up and let's start over. They just got rid of uh, Deontay Johnson. They traded him to what, the, the Panthers. And I don't even know how I missed that the other day. I, I missed that trade the other day. I, I didn't even know about it until uh, yesterday. I was like, whoa, what? how did I miss it? But they got rid of him. And again, Kenny Piggy, they like, uh, just just move on from him. So yeah, so here we go. We're gonna see what happens with this whole thing. Oh, I just said this the, the, the Steelers catchphrase and I didn't even realize. But yeah, so Justin Fields, congrats. I'm I'm glad that he gets to move forward in his life now. Because it's one of those things where if you just one of those things you keep hearing about, especially if it's if it's about yourself and your business, your work, your job, your 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 profession. And you got to hear rumors about it every single day. What's going to happen? Rumors about it every single day. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to end up? Where, where, what team am I going to be? Am I going to stay with my own team? Am I going to go to a new team? What's it going to be? Oh, the Eagles interested in me? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Philly's cool. Oh, oh, Eagles. Oh, they traded for somebody. Oh, okay. Well, okay. All right, who's next? So it, it's like the Eagles and the Steelers, these, these, uh, Philly, excuse me, these Pennsylvania teams, it's like they just playing musical chess. With who they interested in and who they gonna ship off to here and there and everywhere. So, but it's done now. It's done, and so is this video.